five reasons your house is not selling. I'm gonna count down five reasons why your house might not be selling. The market has shifted a little bit and it might be sitting at this point. Here are five reasons that it might be sitting. Number five is the location. You can't really change the location. However, you will have to just kind of do a little bit extra to make your house the most desirable. If your location isn't there, then you have to do something unique inside your property to draw people in and make them want your house. Number four, cleanliness. When buyers walk into a house and there might be dirt or grime on the baseboards or there's just deferred maintenance, they automatically assume that there's going to be something hidden that they can't see and so they'll be deterred from that. There's a lot of houses on the market now because of the downturn and there's a lot of options for them. So they'll just pack up and go to the next house. So make sure you get a good deep clean in there. Hire someone to come in and just fully clean your house before listing it. Number three, the smell. Buyers buy with all of their senses. I mean, think about you. When you go into a store, Companies spend millions of dollars <laughs> making sure that their, their business smells, has a specific smell to it. Your home should too. So when someone walks in, you need to make it feel like home, make it feel like their space. So if there's any kind of smoke or pet or any kind of funky, musty smell, take care of it because they will run for the hills <laughs> if they come in and smell something a little bit dank. All right, number two is clutter slash weird flow. Um, it's really important that you kind of clear out everything. If you have a junk room, which I have a lot of those, and your kids are messy, just for the, the time being while your house is on the market, declutter everything. Hire a, a home organizer. Um, I'll link below one that I, I love and use. Um, she's great. She'll come in and pack stuff up and put it in storage for you so that you don't have clutter laying around the house. Again, a buyer needs to walk in and, and not see a bunch of clutter, not see a bunch of, of items out. It needs to be really simple and clean and you'll sell your house quick. <laughs> and, and then the weird flow, you know, maybe it's operating well for your house and for your needs, but um, maybe a buyer doesn't use it that way. So is there a huge table that people kind of have to walk around? Um, that's not gonna be really accessible for them. Or, you know, maybe uh, you're using an office that really should be staged as a bedroom. Uh, work with your realtor on that. They're really good about knowing what a buyer is needing. So listen to them because they are wanting to sell your house just as much as you are and for the highest dollar. So declutter and get rid of the weird flows. Get rid of all the weird, huge furniture that doesn't make sense in the space. And the number one reason why your house might not be selling is buyers cannot picture or visualize themselves and their family in your home. This is a big one, like the biggest. Depersonalize your house. I know it was great for you. I know you've lived in it. You've loved it. You have so many memories there but buyers need to walk in and picture their families there or they will not buy your home. So take the pictures off the wall, take all the personal items out, uh, clear, that goes up with number two also, clean out the space. Uh, it was beautiful for your family, but if your goal is to sell the house, it is no longer yours. You already need to have that mindset of, okay, what do I need to do to get this house sold? And that means maybe, like I said before, changing a bed, uh, bedroom into an office or changing an office into a bedroom or switching your living room to your dining room. Really work with your realtor on that because they will know exactly what buyers are looking for and hire a stager. We use Star Staging Company here. She's actually worked for HGTV. She's amazing. Hire a stager. They'll actually work with your existing furniture, maybe bring in a couple of other items to help really sell your house. Um, if it is sitting, that is the number one thing I would do first is declutter, depersonalize, and get rid of all of the stuff that might be hindering the buyer from buying your house. I hope those were helpful, the five things and five reasons why your house might not be selling, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye.